Nyali bingelele kameni lengo setu chesu ibi zolami ngumesi mpofu. Namsanje isevisi si patelue ngabo mama. I would like to welcome you to Brethren in Christ online Sunday service. Uh, I would like to also encourage you to tell us where you're watching us from. Uh, and also, if you need selling services, you are free, are free to use the details that will be provided on the screen. Let us take our Bibles and turn to the book of Judges chapter 19, verse 9. It reads, That afternoon, as he and his wife and servant were preparing to leave, his father-in-law said, Look, it's getting late. Stay just tonight. And we will have a pleasant evening together. And tomorrow you can get up early and be on your way. But this time the man was adamant. So he left, getting as far as Jerusalem. His servant, verse 11, said to him it's getting too late to travel let's stay here tonight the man said no we can't stay in this heathen city where there are no israelites we'll go on to keep here or possibly rama let us pray thank you heavenly father for this word Father, it is written in your word that men shall, shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that cometh from your mouth. Lord, let us, let this word nourish our spirit, man. Let it nourish our physical bodies. Let it revive us, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Where we've just read uh, in Judges chapter 19, I'll just summarize the whole story. Uh, there is a man from the, of, of the Levite, of the, of, of the tribe of Levi, who was living in the hill country of Ephraim, who brought a girl from uh, Bethlehem in Judah and made this girl his concubine. The Bible says this girl got angry with this man and uh, she decided to return to her father's house. After four months, this man decided to follow this girl up and to try and win her back. When he got there, the Bible tells us that this, this girl let this man in. And uh, it continues to say, she introduced this man to the father. The father welcomed this man. After staying for three days in this girl's home, this man decided to go back to the hill country of Ephraim. They worked up early in the morning, but the father said, please stay, please stay. This man refused, but the, the father kept on insisting that they stay, and he ended up giving in. That was the fourth day. On the fifth day, this man woke up again early in the morning, with the servant and this girl heading to the hill country of Ephraim. The father also insisted again that they stay, but this time around, the man was adamant. He wanted to go. The girl didn't say anything. She was quiet all along. So they went out, but the father insisted that it was getting late. So he was insisting that they stay for, 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 for a day or so. But this time around, the man was not agreeable. He was adamant. So they headed to, to the hill country of Ephraim. Along the way, his servant also insisted it was getting dark again. He said, let us stay here for tonight. For it is getting dark. But this man again was adamant. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. 
the title or my, my sermon is entitled this morning please stay it's getting late please stay it's getting late please stay it's getting late sipila as cutting is a good lapho ukuza kwa Kristu Jesu ose useduze Ah uh, I'm inviting you brethren to stay a little longer because it's getting dark The son of man is coming very soon But the church of God is reluctant like this girl she is leaving her father's house when it's too late she doesn't say anything she is leaving the comfort of her home she is leaving the protection of her home and heading and starting a journey with this man that she doesn't know the church of god is busy it's busy it's too busy for god it has got programs that are dear, that are that are separating that are drifting them apart from god they have so many things they have got so many excuses the church of today is adamant i won't go to you and happy i won't go to so you my pet alone lutomba zana lo wahamba la lundo tanga maziyo if i believe she was a concubine which means that she wasn't married to this man but we figure pambili when they got somewhere along the way they 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 got a place to stay for that night they were given a place to stay for that night by a certain old man but the bible says at night when they got there some sex perverts knocked vigorously at the door they wanted to have sex with this man the owner of the house pleaded with the man outside but they refused do you know what happened this man pushed this girl outside and this man abused her the whole night they abused her till dawn and when they were done abusing her they pushed her away and then this girl fell down and died after that when it was done the man woke up and opened the door and told the girl to let's to get up and continue with the journey kulente ngina nzelela ngalo ndoda because he didn't pay a bright price for this girl he is mistreating her he is abusing her because he don't pay a single penny for her this girl left her father's house where he has she had to run for protection she left the father's house where she was protected and headed with the strange man the strange man lowered her she lowered her and when he got along the way she he could not protect this woman usathane bazalwa nibaba bathambekileyo kazange wasifele calvary ikhona indoda eyachitha igazi layo eCalvary ithenga impilo zethu iyasibiza ukuthi ngasi ngahlawuyo ananzelela ukuthi ah ila ngasalitshonile iyalozi isikhathi nosuku lapheza khona yale ngemthini wase Calvary ilenge lizono zethu iyasincenga namhlanje ukuthi ngasi ngahlala kancane ukuthi ngasi ngahlala kancane ngobe isikhathi esiphelile usathana uyafana lalo ndoda uyasiyenga ukuthi sihambe laye akreate izinto ezizasenza sibe busy sisuke ku Kristu Jesu phambili nxa sezibeda he will leave us to die he will not protect us he will not stand with us he will not give us life He will leave us to die. The Bible says 
in John 10 verse 10. The, key, the thief cometh to steal, kill and destroy, but he has come that we might have life, that we must have life and have it in abundance. O Jesus si bizela guyu tinga singa thala guye. Guye gulogu figelega batandegayo. Guye gukona impile nguna pagate. Guye gukoni lifa. Lundombaza nulandela lundota. Umlandela gala garanti ya impilo. Usatike wala tegela impilo yake along the way. But not with my father Jesus. Not with Jesus. Lepo si thala, lepo si vumo kubuya la kuchesu, si thale, uchesu ya si sindise kufeni, ukupupo kuna pagate, uya si pimpila, enguna pagate. Mthaumbe, ungibugele la pokona, uti wena wazu, uti nkula pagati gwani, uta wazu, uti stressi, nkula pagati gwa so igui ini, that's why you sit in thale. Stay, it's getting late. Stay, it's getting late. I know you've got a tangible reason to say you are, you are facing these hardships. Maybe you're facing financial challenges. Maybe you're under duress. Maybe you're sick. And you're asking yourself, does God exist? I'd rather resort to drug abuse. I am beseeching you the Sunday morning. Please stay a little longer. Please stay a little longer. This man that you're going out with will never give you life. Will never guarantee you eternal life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This man is a, a liar from the onset. This man never paid a penny for you. But Jesus laid down his life for you. He loves you. He is giving you time to return to him. He is giving you time to come back to him. He is calling you before the sun sets. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unga sugi go Christu Jesu. Ilanga selia chana. Uyanga pi. Where are you heading to in this dark? Stay. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. I urge you, brethren. I know you've got valid excuses. They are tangible. But the, the Lord has promised us. He will not put to shame those who put their trust in him. He will not put to shame those who trust in him. Please stay. Before I close, I would like to encourage you, brethren. I want us to be there when the saints are marching in. My question is this morning, will you be there when the saints are marching in? Will you be there in that number? Will you join the heavenly choirs on that day? If the answer is no, please return to the Lord. If the answer is no, please return to the Lord. If you are thinking of giving up, please don't give up. Stay. Please stay. Don't go. It's too late to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Ephesians, verse 6, Upaulutien. Put on the full armor of God. Having, I'll just paraphrase it. Having done everything to stand. Stand therefore. In that verse from this, from verses 12, 13, 14, thereabout. He emphasizes on standing. The word standing appears four times in those verses. Which shows that when the end time comes, we will have no excuse. We will stand before.
before the Lord because he expects us to be there when the the books are opened, the books of life, when the names are called, he expects us to be there. I don't want you to miss heaven. That is why I may not know the pain that I'm, you're going through. I may not know how bankrupt you are. I may not know your troubles. I may not know what hardships you're facing. I may not know what sickness you have. But I'm encouraging you this morning. Stand. Stand therefore. Stand. After having done everything to stand. Stand therefore. We are funege kayam tagababa. Ilanga le atona. Usatani umum kambi wa manga. Unga vumukambala ye. Bandanga li kutaza. Ugutis the kulume. Siyale ususwa. Ebu konani bengosye tu jesu. Singa vumi. He has designed so many programs to remove us from the presence of the Lord. Let us refuse. Please stay. Please stay. It's getting late. In the name of Jesus. I know wherever you are, you're thinking, yes, I've heard your word, but what do I do? Let us pray. The Lord will answer our prayers. The Lord is there. He will not leave or forsake us. We are singing lela longe bazola mama ba tande kayo la peli kona ogu kutaza gua migu iguti linga sugen kosi ninge lasti awa linga sugen kosi ninge lasti awa linga sugen kosi nino muzula parati guani mana ipapi litin siza. Zia pela manda Aba shabaya wa noguwa Kwa ndala baba tembu Jehovah Baza tola manda mata Weno wenza yo shala Weno wenza yo linda Weno wenza yo ngasugi Weno wenza yo mana Stand therefore It's getting late Let us pray Baba sesili zwili zwilako You've spoken through your word Oh, my Father, we thank you that, Lord, we don't have the abilities to do your will. But your word says, for we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. This morning, help us to hold on till the last day. Help us, Lord, to hold on till the last day. Help us to hold on, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. I would also like to remind you once again, if you need any counseling, the numbers are provided on your screen. Uh, they'll be provided on your screen. And if you also want to make an offering, please feel free. Their numbers, our details will be shown uh, on the screen. Have a pleasant viewing. Thank you. God bless you.